in the source files folder that you downloaded, you're also going to see, you know, a whole bunch of files, part one start, part one finish, part two start, part two finish, part three, and so on, all that good stuff, all right? Also inclu included in there is going to be this original testing files folder. These are workable files, but they've just got my original notes. Um, if there are any notes, um, it, of course, includes the PHP mailer classes. Um, what I was using to test the database or pull from the database and of course uh, the PHP that actually submits to the database as well as sending an email. Um, so these files in here are my actual original files. Okay, I didn't touch them. I just kind of packaged them up. Thought I'd let you take a look at them. And uh, what that file is, that flash file is right there, is exactly what this is. It's really just a mess on stage, a mess in the layers, um, you know, running through you know, various things that we can use throughout this, all right? Instead of just kind of creating a bland email form, I wanted to kind of make it, I guess, a little more tricked out in the sense that we can, you know, use email validation and uh, uh, phone number validation, which obviously there's no validating it. It's just once they've entered in three digits here, three digits here, four digits here, it's going to go ahead and give them the green light and then move to the next text box, all right? Uh, which obviously is the, the tab coding for Flash, and uh, I'll explain a little bit of that once we get there. It's really not difficult. But um, if you want to start here, uh, I've got contact form, part one start, FLA. All right, I've already set up the, uh, the, the timeline and the layers if you want to uh, work the same way that I'm working here. All right, so um, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have our database set up and we have a database available. So if you don't have a database set up, go ahead and set one up. Um, if you're unsure on how to set a database up, you know, contact us, we'll definitely walk you through the process. Uh, before you contact us, I would suggest, you know, going to your host, finding out where you can set up your MySQL databases and gain access to your PHP MyAdmin. All right, you're gonna find that in your control panel. Okay, so um, where to start? I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down. The uh, original file I'm going to be using throughout all this is this right here. All right, uh, let me go ahead and close this one down. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the PHP because I think if we covered some of the PHP first, you're going to see some of the values and some of the names that we're using. That way, when we get into creating action script variables, you know, uh, d deciphering which is the action script value and which is the PHP value is going to help a lot as far as understanding passing the data back and forth between Flash and PHP. Because right, PHP in the long run is what communicates with the database and then, of course, just returns some sort of signal to Flash to actually say, hey, the form was submitted or, hey, there's an error here or there. All right, Generate this email is a little bit different than the basic email Flash form that um, I've done previously on the site. All right, We're actually going to be working with the server in this one as opposed to just working with the PHP. All right, And, uh, of course, I'm going to walk you through all that stuff here shortly. Um, of course... Inside of this contact form.php, okay, which is ultimately going to be the PHP file that I'm going to use for this entire tutorial when we publish from Flash, this is what it's going to load. As you can see, I've created the uh, MySQL script for you already in here, okay. All we're going to have to do is create our database and then run this script in the database and it's going to be set up and ready for us to go. All 